The revolutionary new sequel, AI2, by Paradise Decay is coming 2023. Sweet! If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been like, he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. I do apologise if my voice sounds a bit hoarse, I've uh, got a bit of a cold at the moment, so I'm battling the flu. The latest Outlast game is now available on Steam. Now I've played all the Outlast games in VR with either Vorpex or Reshade, and the 3D is absolutely amazing. The only way to play these games is in a VR headset because you're actually inside the game. It's not like I'm playing the game on a flat screen. It's a 3D world and I'm inside the world. I'm not going to show you my tutorial or my guide on how to get this working in this video. If you want to see uh, how to get this working, I've got plenty of videos with guides. Uh, this video you can watch in a VR headset. All you need is a 3D stereoscopic browser or any program that allows you to watch 3D footage, so something like virtual desktop, big screen, that sort of thing. So if you want a tutorial, I've got plenty of guides on how to get 3D working in flat games. The Outlast games are really scary in a VR headset, I must say. I am using Reshade to get the 3D working in this game, but I'm not using the default Reshade. I'm using the version with all the mods attached. And when you try that version of Reshade, you'll get a pop-up to say that if you're playing like multiplayer games there's a chance you might get banned because the uh, reshade version with the mods with the mod support is only supposed to be designed for single player games now I went in here last night I tried it I had no problems there's like a tutorial anyway which you can try so you can try the tutorial to see if you like the 3D a lot of this game is co-op and as you can probably see from Steam, it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews so far. Let's dive in, let's have some fun, and I'm going to show you what I can see. Okay, I'm in the game, and I'm going to be playing the game with a, an Xbox controller today. I'm going to start a brand new game. I'm going to show you my settings for the game. Nothing in general we need to um, take notice of. There's no FOV in this game though. Normally if there's FOV, I like to put the FOV to the maximum. The lower the FOV, the more claustrophobic you're going to feel in 3D. So this game, it really does feel claustrophobic when you're in the uh, 3D environment. Controls, graphics, I've got everything set to low just for this recording so that you guys get a really nice video to watch. And this is going to be in 4K. I'm going to start a brand new game. I've not really tried the game yet. I tried both these levels just to make sure the 3D was working. So I'm going to do the introduction first. I'm going to skip any cutscenes. Okay, so we're going to select a character. We're going to wake up. I'm going to physically show you the depth map for the game. This is going to represent the 3D that I can see in the headset. So if I hit the home key, I'm going to bring up the reshade menu. Super Depth 3D is on. I've set my IPD to 64. If you know how reshade works, what I'm showing you now is going to be instinctual. DM0 is on reversed. The depth map, I've got on 90. Um, 200 looks really really nice but I've got a feeling if you watch the video at 200 you might get a bit of eye strain with things up close 90 is about average 3d 
So I'm going to put this to 120. I was in bed last night thinking about this. Let's go 125. So I'm going to put my depth map to 125. And this number here determines how strong the 3D is. Now if I go to this depth map view here, you'll see the uh, screen change to a gray color. So here look, and if I, if I get rid of this um, reshed menu here, you can now see the depth map. So if I'm moving the, if I'm moving the level, you can see this change look. The darker the gray, the closer the objects are to your eye. So if you can visualize this scene in 3D, you can see like uh, this part here, look, really, really close. And the distance you can see getting further and further away. Now for me, this depth map in this game, the 3D in this game is really, really good. Here's a good uh, representation look of the uh, 3D working. So you can see me getting closer to the pipes. Now you imagine that in 3D, in the headset, and being inside the actual game. I'm going to turn the depth map off now. And now we've got like a, a stereoscopic image. One for the left eye, one for the right eye. I'm using virtual desktop. And in my headset, this game is now in 3D. Basically, it's like having a giant cinema screen that's wrapped around me and the screen comes up to here. So all this is in 3D. So even if I move my head slightly to the left and the right and up and down, I'm still inside the world, just like a normal VR game. The only difference playing games with Reshade and Super Depth 3D, unlike a normal VR game, if you look behind you in a VR game, the world's still there. Now, because I'm facing forwards and I've got a screen in front of me, if I look behind me, there's nothing there. So you have to get into the mindset that you're inside the world and you're facing forwards. To be honest with you, after five, 10 minutes, you totally forget this is not a true VR game, but it doesn't matter because I'm inside the world and my brain thinks it's real anyway. So this is the closest you're going to get to playing games like this in VR because if they don't have a natural VR mode, there's no other way you can play these games in a VR headset. Normally when I play these games with virtual desktop, if I look around, the screen does not move. Now for some reason in this game, on virtual desktop, the screen is attached to my head. So even if I look to the right and left, the screen is moving with my head. There is an option in virtual desktop called Headlock that does the same thing, but I prefer the camera to be free moving. I prefer to look up and see the edge of the screen, to look to the left and see the edge of the screen. For some reason, I don't know why, I can't do that in this game. So I am locked to looking forwards and the screen being stuck in front of me. There's no leeway as far as I can see, but I'm going to enjoy this anyway. I've only played the game for about two minutes to make sure the 3D is working. I'm now going to shrink myself down into the corners of the screen. So I'm going to be in 3D as well. I want you guys to see my reaction to any jump scares. I'm also going to leave a little disclaimer this time at the bottom of the screen so that if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not watching in a VR headset, it's going to basically say you can watch this in 3D in a VR headset. And this will work with any VR headset. You just need a browser or a program that supports stereoscopic 3D or SBS side by side. Let's dive in, let's have some fun. Okay, I'm in the world now, as you can probably see. It looks amazing. Look at the 3D, absolutely stunning. Now, because there's no FOV in this game, I did feel a little bit claustrophobic, so my virtual screen, I've actually moved it further away from me so I can see more of the sides. And this feels more natural for me now. I don't feel so claustrophobic. Okay, press Y to toggle the night vision. We've got some creepy dolls. I'm going to really take my time as well, guys. I like to absorb the game in 3D. 
take it all in because it's so realistic. Okay, we can turn the uh, turn it off now. That's really dark. Press A to vault. Okay, what's in here? Uh, that's not good. I've got no further in the game, guys, so this is all new to me. This game is supposed to be scary anyway, even on a flat screen, so... God forbid how scary it's going to be in 3D. My brain thinks I'm in the world right now. The 3D is amazing. Okay, so we need to jump across. Okay, this is where that thing fell down, look. That can fell off here, so... I don't know what to expect from this game. I've not seen no trailers. I've not seen any Let's Plays. I can hear flies. Open the door. Wow. Brace yourself. Did that say brace yourself? Or did that say remake? I'm sure that said brace yourself. Remake yourself. This looks amazing. So I'm using my uh, thumbstick on the gamepad to look around. You can play this game with a mouse and keyboard. There's a guy over there, look. I can see you. Hopefully you can see the uh, scale and the depth of this world in 3D. If you're watching in 3D. I see dead people. Not a good sign. Look at my shadow. Yeah, who's that up there? Oh, hello. Who's that? Like I said, I want to explore. Oh, hello. Is that... She's alive. I'm expecting lots of jump scares. If you've never tried these games in uh, with Vorpex or, or with Reshade, highly recommend. Oh, wow. This might be scary, guys, but I'm in awe. Okay, do we check out the creepy lady around here with the baby? Lots of blood on the floor. With the head bobbing, this feels even more immersive. Hello, can I... Can I help you with the baby duties? The most destructive thing you've done to the world. You have to release the past in order to embrace the future. Okay. Abandon your birth. Let's pull it. See what happens. Don't jump on my face. Oh, she stopped. Who are you? I'm getting goosebumps now, just from the sounds. This way to the playroom. 
Playroom. I want to go through here first. There's a scary mannequin in here. She's gone. Oh, hello, she's not gone. Are you going to jump at me? She looks so realistic, guys. What's this? Okay, press right trigger to recharge night vision batteries. Okay. Don't move. Now, they do advise you close the door behind you to prevent enemies from chasing you. So let me go and shut all the doors. This game oozes atmosphere. Interesting. So that's locked. Okay, is this the playroom? Before you could even speak, you had instincts. A primal you. Those are an animal's instincts. You have to forget them. Okay, so right now, if I look to my right, I can see that TV in the top right. And if I look to my left, I can see the TV in the top left. So that's how much 3D I've got in the game, guys. Do not underestimate the power of 3D in a VR headset. We've got some dancing mannequins down there. I do like these games though, so I do like to take my time. Okay, let's pull it. And they're frozen. Hello. This way to the den. Where you learned to be good. To the den. Okay, this way. This is creepy as F. B to crouch. Yeah, this is gruesome. I need my night vision on here. I don't mind if I do, mate. I do apologise. You don't need that anymore. Oh, crap. Okay, if I turn my night vision off here, is this going to be pitch black? Look at that, pitch black. Do not move. You might see a bit of artifacting around the edge of like the camera. That's because of reshade having to um, calculate the 3D. Don't forget, reshade, we can hide in here. Left and right button to peek. Reshade is converting this uh, 2D game into 3D. You learn discipline. Carrots and sticks. Rewards and punishments. A disciplined child is grateful for both. This is oozing atmosphere. I don't feel like I'm playing a game. I feel like I'm inside the house for real. And these are real statues in front of me. You can bash debris in doorways. Bash debris. My shadow made me jump there. 
All oh, right, I've got you. Who's that? Hello? Okay, was that the guy I saw? Look at the blood on the floor. Someone's been dragged. Yep, close the door behind me. I have tried open track with this game as well, guys. Open track basically allows me to use my headset like a mouse. Open track will let you look around the world, just like you look around the world using a mouse, but it's not working with this there version of the game. This is not good. What have you been doing? You naughty little mannequin. Creepy, naughty. You left someone's eye out with that, mate. I'm telling you now. Are these going to come alive and chase me? Okay, we've got two doors. There's one here. There's a kitchen area. Ah, oh, crap! Shit. Awesome. I've got goosebumps, can you see? <laughs> you are injured, you need medicine. Yep, no shit. I've got blood spatter on the screen as well. That was a really cool jump scare. That's what I like about this game. My reactions are legit, unlike a lot of uh, horror game YouTubers who pretend to be scared. My brain is physically scared. Okay. Grab the health. Hopefully you guys are seeing the action as well in 3D. Look at the flies. Hello? Do we hide? Someone's coming. I'm trying to look through the top of the crack in the door. Someone's there, I can hear them. Hold to open the door slowly. Okay, this is a new mechanic. Any movement in? I can hear somebody. Let me shut this door. We're going to sneak around here. Oh crap! There's a shadow in there, look. I need a knife. I can see you in there. This door's locked. That's locked. Can I have a knife, please? I do like how you can see that doors are locked now. I do like this red barrier on here. That's a nice touch. There's a bit of flickering there with the uh, textures and everything. But I am running the game on the low settings and this still looks amazing. So imagine this game with everything to the max. Okay, are we going down here? Press L to run! Shit! I'm running, I'm running. 
something's coming. Pop goes the easel, that's my song. You're not allowed to sing that song, that's my song. Pop goes the jump scare. Pop goes a jump Okay, I think someone's in here. Let me open the door slowly. I can hide behind me, look, in the cupboard there. Okay, open slowly. Slowly. Hello. How are you all? Let me close the door so the bad lady doesn't come and get us. What's sticking out of there? Yeah, this is not creepy. What is that? Is that an apple? Um, that door's locked. You want me to grab the apple? Yeah. Jump scare ink. Oh. Oh, hell. what the hell is that? Five nights at Freddy's sheep. Who is that? <laughs> okay, don't poke me in the eye with that thing. Why would you not want to play this game in 3D? He's trying to put my eye out. Oh, that's not good. Lights on. So this door's now locked and this door's open. Bye kids, see you later. Okay, pitch black. Mannequins. I hate those monkeys. You can burn in fire. What's that noise? Something's being dr dragged. Close the door, PD. Okay, grab this here, which is health. Oh, he's still alive! Okay, mate. Okay, how do we heal again? Slowly. This looks amazing though. Okay, we're going down to see the dancing mannequins now. Okay, we need to heal. Full health. You okay there, mate? And it'll just crawl from the sky. Are you enjoying the show? 
sex. I love what they've done with the place. We're in like a warehouse look. Is this the old asylum? Hello mate. What? Oh sorry. Okay, don't get close to the natives. Uh, I'm going mate. I'll leave you alone. Okay, we need to be silent. There's a bad guy over there. We need to hide from... Shit. Close the door, close the door. Close the door, close the door. He's coming. Shit, run. Uh, hide, 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 hide. No, 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 no. Hello. Ow. Leave my legs alone. Where can we hide? Oh, look at that. Pitch black. Don't come in here. Go away. Close it, don't open it. <laughs> okay. Are we safe now? Let's go upstairs. Okay. I think we're safe. Yeah, we're safe. This is like a haunted house ride gone wrong. That's a mincer. And that's a leg. Okay, everything's locked. Listen to mother. You get the roost. When babies are bad, mother gets disappointed. It puts the lotion on its back. Gruesome. I think I made a mess. Oh, that's not good. I didn't see me though. You see what happens when children try to grow up before their time.
destroy your public records. Okay, I need to find my records. Are they this way? Lots of places to hide, look. A veranda here. Okay, so the, my objectives are be Shit, hide under the bed. Where? Where's the bad guy? Oh, there she is. Noise traps, watch your step on broken glass. I need that. Okay, let me heal. Uh, close the door, PD. Shit. I'm making a noise on the glass. For long. Free yourself. I'm free. This is a really good tutorial. So we have to drop this box to run if there's anything bad chasing us, so So I might have to drop the box and run. Shit, there's glass here. I do like how they've added new mechanics to the game. Oh crap! What's that? Hide. No, you've not seen me. Go away. Quick, 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 quick. We did it, we did it. We, we completed the oh, crap. Run. run, 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 run. Why am I running so slow? Hide under the bed. Can't get me, can't get me, can't get me. Oh no, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's white. Can I punch him? How do I run again? Run, 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 run. Let's go try and find somewhere to hide. Shit, run faster. 
Oh, shit, it's coming, it's coming. Can't hide in there. I think I'm safe. Whew. Oh, crap! He's waiting for me, spray me with something. <laughs> Okay, now I feel drunk. Who are you? Okay. Heal, heal, heal. So my sanity has been restored. How do we get out of here? I've done the box. The you thought were secret. Is this a different Destroy box? It. Free yourself. Is that a different box? No, shut it when you're outside, PD. I've got no more health, have I? Don't move. I don't know if this is a new box or did I fail the last time? Please proceed. Hide. Return to the shuttle. Let's try over here. Okay, I'm being hunted, look. What's she got? She's got like a chainsaw. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I think we made it. Thank God for that. Okay, so... Why not? Sit in the electric chair. Job complete. Okay guys, so I guess that's the premise for the game and you can play this game multiplayer. So I've got a feeling we can now go and do the multiplayer. Your rebirth begins. Freedom is waiting. This is evaluation. After each trial, I'll assess your progress, guiding you through recovery and growth. Know that you're special. You're loved. You're worth our effort. You have to trust that we wouldn't have chosen you if you didn't deserve to be here. This looks amazing. Freedom is waiting.
Okay, so these are real people, look. Please, explore the sleep room. This is your neighborhood. I will be with you to offer guidance and advice. Let's get the basics under our belt. I'm with you. And then we can think about medication. As I was walking from the, the, the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Dr. Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around and I went up to approach him <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something. <laughs> but I actually just went, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. So you tried to salvage it? <laughs> Nathie, Nathie, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Three, Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. that roast. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted by the team. Might want to break their mic. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. Yeah, I gotta say, he's <laughs> really. His eyes have been no, fixed. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Whoa! Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the, oh, off track. Fully PD, fully. I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you, Steve? <laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, Sorry, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. <laughs> Sorry, for Jack. Jack. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. He's, PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? <laughs> What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally throwing that. What a blissful life to be looking for Steve. <laughs>